good morning everyone this is life issue and this is blessing thank you so much for coming to my channel if you've not subscribed to our channel please help us hit the red button so that you get news once we upload it all right in this channel we'll talk about any issue that affects your family and this morning i saw a video about another fire that occurred in goan estates in ebada now this is kind of like a market shop so kind of like traders their shop were burnt down and it got me wondering what is going on people are asking the same question since last year every week there is a market there is a mall there is a complex that is being gutted by fire what actually is happening is this a sabotage or is this a normal occurrence? I've never heard of this kind of a thing happening in Nigeria. And it's becoming so becoming so frequent that we need, to, we need to ask ourselves a question. Is someone doing this to traders? Now, we're not going to say anything further. I'm just going to show you the video of what happened for you to watch how people's livelihood were all destroyed in this fire. Watch this. Ah. Uh. It just get hey that one um come on time for me I swear me they put a rose rose go long with them They are very rough. 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 They 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 after the shop I finish, big boys are going. They have tried their best. <laughs> Where the police? Police don't go, Abi. First time finish, they bring another one. Never see police. See police. On our bros with our papa. Where are Where are you? See our general in charge. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's seen. You know. I want to put it for a video. See the firefighters. Oh. Fire. <laughs> Big boys are going. They have tried their best. <laughs> Where the police? Police don't go, Abi. First time, finish. They bring another one. Never see police. See police. On our bros with our papa. Where are you? Where are you? See our general in charge. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's seen. You know. I want to put it for a video. See the firefighters. Oh. Where? <laughs> Um, uh, uh. Imagine born where I be. I get lost in the iron safe gun. Iron. You know born. They will still repair them. Now nah, this one. Repair okay. This one. Yeah, repair, the repair, the repair, the repair. Yeah. But in a loss. Big boys are going. They have tried their best. Where the police? Police don't go, Abi. Mean. 
first time we finish, they bring another one. Never see police. Huh? Oh, now our bros with our pop pop. Where are you? Where are you? See our general in charge. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's Tino. I'm not putting my video. See the firefighters. Now, I'm going to bear this one. Who are you bear this guy? I think they're not going to risk him. Oh God, I'm inside the shop. See now, see how many. Fuck. The Allah himself, bomb. God. No, now all this in the even blue, see what they hear this sound. Bua, bua. Thank you. God. Okay. Don't come beat me. At the video, the time says, look at what I'm doing. Let me talk to you. Oh, wow, the person shop condemn like this. Too. <laughs> See the firefighters. Now that quest fire, all these women. Thank you so much for watching that. At this time of pandemic, at this time when people were made to be at home, there are no trading going on, interstate been locked, people are losing their livelihood. What a pity. What kind of calamity is this? Nigerians are reacting to this. I'm going to show you people's comment. You can see people are actually thinking that this is no more normal. You cannot tell me that every week a market somewhere is being gutted by fire. What is not as if it's Hamatan time. This is raining season. So really what is happening is somebody intentionally setting fire on this market. Who are they actually targeting? I'm actually becoming a little bit concerned because I feel as if something more than what we think is happening is happening here. What do you guys think about this incident? What do you guys think about what is happening? Do you think this is just a coincidence that is happening every week? Whether it's a big market or a shopping mall? What do you guys think? All right, I just wanted to bring this news to you and for us to talk about it. Drop your comments. And, you know, I don't know why most of these are, you know, spiritualists, all these are big prophets don't see this. At least they should be seeing all these things now. They should be telling us so that traders will know which one is going to happen next week. I'll prefer if they can, you know, prophesy and tell us so that they will be prepared to uh, remove all their goods. Now, they will not see this one. Please, let all the affairs and all the herbalists, all the people that say that they see, let them tell us what is going on. Let's, if the gods are angry, let us appease the gods now. These are people's livelihood. People are, people are actually dying and people are committing suicide because they've borrowed. They've borrowed to stock their shop and then fire happens. Now, my advice, you know, normally I do a video and I put an advice out there is if you are a trader, please, please take an insurance. It doesn't matter how much stock you have in your shop. Please take out an insurance. Take an estimated insurance based on the maximum goods that you can have your, in your shop. This is not the time for you to say uh, insurance doesn't matter. Insurance is not useful. I know in Africa, we don't really value insurance. We feel as if they're eating our money. But with what is going on now, everybody who is a trader should have at least goods insurance. Okay, if you don't want to have a life insurance, have your goods insured because you might need it. This is all I have to say. This is my advice to any trader out there. Take out an insurance, no matter how much it costs. 
it is time for you to take out an insurance. You need something to fall back on. You know, the worst part of it is that Nigerian government will not help you. There have not been any kind of relief or any kind of, you know, settlement or any kind of, you know, compensation for people that have been affected by this fire. Nothing has been given to them. So you are just on your own or you're on your own if this doesn't happen to you. So why don't you be smith, um, street smart and cover yourself using an insurance? I know some insurance company will even be running away from covering you. But if you can get any insurance company to cover you, please take out an insurance now because you don't know if this fire god is heading towards your market. You don't know what is happening. So it's better for you not to be sorry, but for you to be wise. This is my advice for this video for people to please get themselves secured. Thank you so much. Now, if you watch this video, what do you think is going on? What do you think is happening? It has happened to Onicha Market, it has happened to Arara, it has happened to you know, Balogu has happened to Dumata. Most of the major markets in Nigeria is being affected. And to be frank with you, I'm not going to be tribalistic about it, but we all know that mainly there are Igbos that are trading there. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to my, my, my community, my people. It's more of them that are being affected. So what is really going on? What is happening? We need to ask ourselves a question and we need to be street smart. Street smart. Thank you so much for watching. Drop your comments. What do you guys think is going on? God bless you. Bye-bye.